Hello everyone. Welcome to 3D Text Adventure. Despite the very bland name, this is actually a very interesting game. So basically what it does is it takes modern 3D graphics and also modern uh, movement schemes in the sense that you use WASD to move your character around and then you use the mouse to look around and it combines it with a text parser. So it's kind of a melding of new elements and also kind of older elements together and it's really neat. So I've played it for a little bit and I really like it so far so I can't wait to get more into it and show you what's going on. It is also completely free and I'll have a link in the description to where you can play it for yourself. Alright, let's begin. In the future, some people take flying cars to work, while others employ teleportation suits. Sometimes, things go wrong. Especially if you buy the cheapest suit you can find and forget to keep it charged. Again. Luckily, the suits all have an artificial intelligence installed based on an imprint from a willing volunteer. These are mostly very helpful, with a large library of knowledge and problem-solving skills. Some even have a cheery personality. Where am I? Now that's an odd sensation. Hang on. Where are my legs? Or my arms? Where are my... other bits? Oh, that's right! This must be the virtual me. I made it. Now, for the script. Hmm. How do I turn on the console so they can read me? Oh. Already on? Sorry about that. Hello, valued customer. I am the AI. I'm very pleased to meet you. It is my pleasure to... Hang on. Why don't I have a video feed? Oh, sorry, I forgot to turn your display on. Why did they make these things so complex? It should be starting to come online now. Well, that boots up. Let me give you a quick rundown. This is a really cheap suit. If you could afford anything better, we wouldn't be here right now. From what I can see in my logs, you had insufficient power to make the jump home. Rather than turn you into meat paste, the suit dumped you here. Wherever that is. I'll try and help you get out of here, just hang in there. So here's the deal. Your suit is almost out of power. So you and I need to find a power source, pronto. Unfortunately, I've lost access to the outside world. You can move the suit around with a keyboard and look around with the mouse. Anything more advanced like manipula manipulating things will need to be done by me. You can type commands via the keyboard and I'll do my best to figure out what you mean. Okay, left mouse button to see, to uh, identify items. Alright. Yep, type help for, well, help. <laughs> now, why don't we start by looking at that box next to the wall? Alright, let's do that. So, yeah, it's actually a really good looking game. So this is basically my console. Right here, turn it on and off. So let's examine this box. So if you left click... It tells you everything that you can basically look at or interact with that you can that you're actually looking at in 3D space. So at the moment it's just the large box. So let's go ahead and examine box. Bippity boppity boop, here's what I can see from the suit. The box looks like a document container. Scanning through it, I found a data pad. Okay, should now appear in my list, even though it's still hidden inside the box. We could read or take that if you want. I can also see a data pad. So yeah, now if I look at this. There we go, shows me the box and the datapad. So let's go ahead and examine the datapad. Okay, the datapad contains a brief media release from this corporation. Nano Enterprises specializes in small-scale fabrication and organic research. Looks like business is doing well. And they've promoted a few people. One is a guy called Rom. Unfortunately, someone has defaced the top poster and he now sports two horns and rather large incisors. Well, let's go ahead and take the datapad, I suppose. There we go. Just give me the same description I just read. Now, I believe I can type inventory. Uh, I think you can just use the shortcut inv. Yeah. Tells you what you're carrying, so I'm carrying the data pad. Alright. Let's take a look around. I can see a locked door. Examine the locked door. Hmm. The door's locked from the outside. We could wait until everyone comes back to the lab, 
But your suit power will be gone by then, and your life support systems will be off. Don't worry, I'll be fine though. Yes, uh, the AI has quite a personality. It's actually a really funny game. I like the jokes that he cracks. More locked doors. It's probably the same description for all the locked doors, but, uh... Let's... let's see. Mm, it's probably a good idea not to open it anyway, it might be a vacuum out there. Indeed. Holographic displays. Now, I believe I tried to examine one of these, and for some reason I couldn't. Mm, oh, no, wait, I think it does work. I'm not sure what all of the panels are, but it looks like there is parts of a rib cage, a graph, and... Is that someone's Facebook page? <laughs> lab 2, Lab 2... Canisters. Let's take a look at those. Yeah, do I have to do everything around here? Oh, wait, I do! Here's what I see. According to my database, the canisters are used to transport items via the ballistic mail system. Unfortunately, they are too small for you to get into. Otherwise, we could just post you home and be done. I don't think I can take these. No, I can't see a use for them, and they look kind of heavy, so no. Okay, fair enough. Small group of boxes. Take a look at them. These boxes are typically used for storage of hard copy documents. They are all locked, apart from one. I can also see a hard copy of the new employee's handbook, Draft. Ah, let's go ahead and take the handbook, I suppose. Okay, took it up. Uh, contains a list of useful information for first-timers. Information about where to find a tasty office beverage, where the best food is, and who you need to know. A section titled Getting Access states that it's no problem at all, just remember it's a piece of pie. Just remember it's a piece of pie. 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 As in, the number pie. You know what? Before, Just before I stopped playing, there was a locked door that required a code. I think I just found it. I think it's pie. Okay. Examine this door. I'm not going to examine all of them, but just in case there's something new here. Ah, uh, just another door. Okay, yeah. No point. Wow. Check out that sun. It's amazing how much free energy is streaming through those windows. Yeah, look at that. I feel like this game is kind of a bit of a prototype. I mean, you can kind of tell that just from the name. But there's also some things that are strangely absent, like a lot of sounds. There aren't even any footstep sounds. But uh, some of the graphics are really good looking. And this is a very good example. A datapad. Do I want to take it? Let's just examine it. It's an in-office newsletter. Apparently someone called Rom has just been promoted to the head of the manufacturing department. There's a picture of him with a big cheesy smile and a cup that says, World's Greatest Boss. Man, I hated working in an office. To err is human. To blame it on somebody else shows management potential. Mm, let's see. A keypad containing the numbers 0 through 9. Probably where I put the password then. A data pad and a clipboard. Uh, let's look at the data pad first. Uh, has a list of living species for uh, spaces for sale. <laughs> living species for sale. <laughs> Here, do you want to buy some humans and a couple giraffes? Um, well, giraffe is not a species. Is that a species? I Wow, I just realized I don't know the definition of a species. Uh, anyway, that's a topic for another day. I'll look that up after I'm finished recording. Uh, you can rent a small cupboard for 60,000 Mantuvian credits. 
Makes me glad I'm just an AI with no physical body. How can anyone afford that? The smallest space I ever lived in was at least twice that size. I was a stable hand on Jovian 9 in the small... Mm, Major... How do you pronounce that? Majelonic Cloud? At the time? Hm. That's where I met Ava. Best girl I ever knew. In the mornings, we'd walk out and watch the Vermoose fly the course courses in the morning fog. The great fires of... Uh, 2000... That's not the right way to say it. 2201, there we go, put an end to all of that. I wonder where Ava is now. Hmm. I was gonna say the year 2201, but that's a really stupid way of saying it. <laughs> Alright. Let's look at the clipboard. Attached to the clipboard is an incident report form. Looks like someone slipped in the blueprint room and broke their wrists. It's half filled out. Hmm, let's fill out the rest of the way. Fill out... Form. Oh, of course, that doesn't work. Stupid AI. A shiny metallic bin which looks empty. Eh, I'm gonna examine it anyway. The bin has almost no sign of wear and I can't find anything in it. Okay. Blank keys, it appears to be deactivated. Not gonna be getting in there. A lamp and a keypad. Alright, so this one has the letters, uh, needs letters. Letters instead of numbers. Examine the lamp. Hmm, just your average phallic light. Mmm, phallic light. Don't think examining the keypad would bear any fruit, but let's try it. Not much else to see. Looks like we need a series of letters in the correct order to get in. Okay, so for this I need pi. Uh, the thing is, I don't actually remember the numbers for pi. I believe it's 3.4 something, but I don't remember what next. How many numbers do I need? Oops, it's this one. Let's... I guess use it first. Uh, you have to give me the correct four number code. So far, nothing has worked. How do I give you the code, though? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and alt-tab out, which is what I just did, which is why the game is frozen. Um, let's look up pi. No, it's not 3.4, it's 3.141. Okay, so 3141. There we go. I knew there was a 4 in there somewhere. Hint, there's a lot more than just one 4. There's a lot of 4s. Pi has a lot of numbers. It's got a lot of numbers. Okay, so do I just do like, use keypad 3141? Oh, there we go. Correct! Hopefully we can find a power cell in there. Or pizza. Mmm. Not that I can eat it without a body and all. Yeah, God, this is really good looking. It's just really damn good looking. Nothing to see here, what do you mean? There's like pills on the counter. Some sort of space medicine. Let's examine the display. Hmm. Let's see, it looks like there's part of a forearm, a parabolic graph, and a diagram of a sun. Small group of boxes and a window. Let's look at the boxes. These boxes are typically used for storage of hard copy documents. They're all locked apart from one. A small chip labeled Break Space. Hmm? A small chip. I assume when you say a small chip, you don't mean like a potato chip. Because why would somebody label a potato chip? Huh. No, it's probably a computer chip of some sort. Look at the chip. Scanning the chip, it appears to contain audio data. I may be able to play it, but my audio components are severely compromised due to our power situation. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take it. Sir? 
severely compromised. Does that mean it won't work, or just that it won't work well? Let's use it. Oh, <laughs> oh that's what that is. <laughs> Doesn't sound compromised at all, it just sounds awesome. I didn't want to restart it, I wanted to stop it. No! Stop chip. There we go. <laughs> that music is awesome. I remember seeing the credits somewhere. It was uh, crediting the music and it said like... There's a little message saying something like, Did you forget to play the chip? Which I think was suggesting that you might have missed the music if you didn't play it. Awesome. Some awesome uh, chip tunes I think that is, right? Or something like that. Either way, it sounded awesome. Okay, let's look at the window. Looks like there are two mini fabrication plants in there. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're on. Hmm, maybe I can fabricate myself a battery. Or a new suit. Hmm, book full of blueprints. Or books full of blueprints, rather. Let's look at the books. These books have thousands of different items that can be made using the fabrication plants in the factory. Hey, there's a section on power modules. The portable solar charger, catalog number blah blah blah, might be what we need. Okay, catalog number, I should probably write that down. One, two, four, five, six. Okay. Alright, so I might be able to make myself a portable solar charger, and I'm assuming charge it here at the windows. Because of that awesome sun. Okay, so can I take it? Take the blueprints? Let's just leave them here. What do you. No, take them! You stupid AI, take them! Take solar charger? Take books. Hmm. Take six. One, two, four, five, six. Alright, whatever. I guess I'll come back to it if I can take it, or I don't know. Oh, a bunch of stuff here. Okay, oh, these pills I can examine. Let's look at the let's go left to right, so folders first. Hmm. Well the folders are empty. As for the pills, they look like fun. They aren't going to help us get out of here though. Eh. We're gonna get out of here, might as well do it in style, right? Trippin' balls. So the pills. Same description. Take pills? I don't do that stuff anymore. Especially since I have no mouth and no synapses. You better keep a you you better keep a clear head also. Let's leave them here. That might be for the best. Let's look at the microscope. Hmm, squinting really, really hard, I see. Looks like a 1,000 times polarizing microscope. Can I use it? Is there anything in it? Nope. Let's look at the notes. Hmm, lots of things are scribbled on the notes. 
Serax called 1045, please phone, and work order 231 is overdue, or 2. I'm not sure what forget his... Wait. I'm not sure what forget his to get in you may need to ferment hers blah 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 means. What the fuck? Forget his to get in you may need to ferment hers. What? That's obviously some sort of a code that I need. Strange. Perhaps its meaning will become clear later. Well, judging by the console, I would say this is a lovely green plant. Examine lovely green plant. Hmm, it's a lovely green plant with a vibrant foliage in a fashionable pot. I'm sure I've seen things like this on Largo. Only they had faces. <laughs> okay. Plants with faces, huh? Looking for anything new. Okay, well, to get in there, I need to get in through that door, which I believe is this one. Hmm, it's deactivated. So I can't even get in there right now. So I think I need to get into this one next. Wait a minute, can I use a lamp? Hmm. Nothing happened. Must be the wrong code. Wrong code? What are you talking about? I just said use lamp, not use freaking keypad. Use light. That's weird. He thinks I'm trying to use the code. Hmm. I'll scan the keypad every time you try a code and give you any hints I can get. Okay, uh, how many does it need? Four? I'm gonna assume it's four, just like the other one. Uh, let's try random garbledy gook. Hmm, maybe there was a clue somewhere, written down perhaps. Yes, yes. Wait, what was that? It's, that sunset reminds me of growing up on Cygnus. Of course, we had two sons. Two sons. Okay, well, I guess that post-it note is probably what I need to get in there. Alright, stuff in my inventory is not going to help. Okay, so text, not numbers. Hmm. What the fuck is this ferment hers thing? What? <laughs> and the sequence of numbers. Is that referring to, like, uh, the alphabet? You know, letter number three, letter number two, one, ten, nine, eleven, eight, four, five, six, seven? Might be overthinking it. I mean, it could just... Try ferment or ferment hers. I don't think ferment hers is the password. That seems too simple. And also kind of weird. Alright, let's try it. I think you're on the right track, though. Maybe the order is wrong. Um, the order is wrong? What? Wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I get it. I think I get it. Um. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. Yep, I get it. Okay, so there's 11 letters there. Fermenters is 11 letters. And there's also 11 numbers. So that's telling me I need to rewrite those letters in that order. So I need to start with the third letter, and then the second, and then the first. Okay, so let's start writing this down. Uh, third one is R, second is E, first is F, tenth, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is R, nine is E, 
Uh, 11 is S. 8. Let's see, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, H. Alright, so, so, so far it's spelled refresh. Let's keep going. Uh, 4 is M. 5 is E. And then NT. Oh, it's refreshment. Okay. Gotcha. There we go. Hopefully we can find something in here. I wonder what those machines do. Oh, look at that dynamic lighting. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's made in the Unreal Engine, by the way. Alright, take a look around. Some more post-it notes. More clues, more passwords. Uh, haikus are easy, but sometimes they don't make sense. Refrigerator. <laughs> Brilliant. Take a look at the pad. Contains inappropriate images of various species. Don't worry, though. I've scanned it all in. For science. Oh, thank you. Can I take it with me? Take the data pad. A filthy, filthy space porn. Good God, man. What if someone catches us with that? Ah, <sighs> okay. Fabrication machine? Okay. Probably need to fabricate... Gotta fabricate myself a solar charger. Examine the... The fab... You... Less machine. It's a fa it actually understood that. <laughs> it's a fabrication machine designed to make small items. And this one is off. Looks a bit like a coffin. What did one vampire say to the other one? Is that... Is that you, coffin? <laughs> what did one vampire say to the other one? Is that you, coffin? Ah. Uh. Take a look at the desk. Various items are scattered on the desk, none of which we need. Lamp. Just your average phallic lamp. Oh, another one. Can I use this one? Can I stroke the phallic lamp? Oh, you know exactly what I mean. Ooh, more books of blueprints. Let's see. And the books contain detailed instructions for identifying various types of cyanobacteria that might contaminate samples. Speaking of blue things, I once took a trip to the Beta Colony next to Jovian 9. After a night at the bar, I woke up completely naked but with a splitting headache. Painted completely blue. It was only when I reviewed my auto logs, I found out that I'd entered myself in a cerulean head wrestling competition. Needless to say, I didn't win. Another lovely green plant. Is this one different from the last lovely green plant? Let's see how much I can mess with it. Let's go with green plant. What the? Oh, it just ignored the crap that I spelled at the end of it. Because if you just type examine, that's what it does. Just typing examine is the same thing as left clicking. Let's see. Yep, same as the last one. It's a keypad there, but it's already unlocked, so it doesn't matter. Microscopes, probably no need to examine them. Um, are any of these turned on? Actually, this fabrication machine doesn't even show up. Let's take a look at this one. Eh, 
analyzing. For some reason, that word makes me nervous. Anyway, I can see. It's a fabrication machine designed to make small items. This one is off. Looks like they can do x-rays. Not that we need one. Have you ever noticed the colder the x-ray table, the more of your body is required on it? Okay, gotta, gotta remain systematic before I leave places unexplored. Let's uh, continue in this room and then I'll go out. Nothing to see here. What do you mean? There's notes right there. Read them. Aww. An autoclave. You know, I remember in the, like, feature list for this game, it mentioned an exploding autoclave. Uh, so, spoilers, I guess this thing is going to explode. To be honest, I don't know much about these... about these. My database is drawing a blank. I bet it could make a mean cup of coffee, though. Now that's something I hadn't had... I haven't had in a while. What I can tell you is that this one is off. Alright, let's use it. Come on. I guess I can't turn it on. It's okay. I'll exploderize it later. Looks like someone's diary. Ouch. Looks like she was having an affair with someone called Rom. He dumped her yesterday when he got a promotion. Aww. Mini fabrication machine. The control console has many buttons, including the numbers 1 through 9. Oh, I can put in the catalog number and have it make it. Yep, prompt asking for a six-digit catalog number. Okay. Oh, wait. Here's another autoclave. And this one appears to actually be on. Let's see. I really don't think we should touch it. But hey, you only live once, right? Or maybe more than once in my case. Let's use it. Is it going to explode? It exploded. <laughs> hey, that was fun. I don't think we should do it again, though. C can we do it again? Liked it the first time, huh? I don't think we'll be using that again. Aww. Wait a minute. A shiny metallic bin? I wonder what it's made of. Probably metal? Examine it. The cleaners here must work really hard. Um, okay. Can I take the bin? Nope. Hey, it's a little... jet. A model of a plane made from metal. Hmm, I wonder if I need the metal as, like, material. It's a vintage aircraft model made of a single material on a flat base. In other words, it's a plain plane on a flat base. Looks nice. Pity those type of aircraft aren't around anymore. Can I take it? Ah, there we go. Yeah, because of the fact that it mentioned it was made of a single material, that makes me think I'm going to need it as, like, a raw resource. For maybe the fabrication process? Okay, let's look at these side rooms. Look at that sun. Damn, the thing is awfully close. Okay, a bunch more rooms over there. Before I go checking those out, let's try to fabricate this thing. See if this thing works. 
Okay, use machine. Alright, uh, six, one, two, four, five, six. Okay, raw material set. Yep, I knew it. Organic 0%, chrome 0%, copper 0%. Okay, so the plane looks like it's made of copper. Let's... Uh, how would I do this? I guess use plane on machine? No, oh, there we go. Okay, copper is 100%, so now I need chrome and organics. Organics. Organic. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I need to take the plants? Am I going to sacrifice all the lovely green plants? Oh no! I'm going to sacrifice the plants. I'm so sorry. Yep, 25%. Alright, I need three more. <laughs> and chrome. Wait, I wonder if that bin was made of chrome. But I couldn't take it. Okay, that's two. Need two more. I'm so sorry, plants. You never deserve this. There we go. Just need chrome. Wait, what the... Wait, I thought I didn't take the bin. Did I... oh, hold on, did I take the bin? I did take the bin! <laughs> I didn't even notice it. What the hell? Wow, okay. Use Vin on machine. Yes, use Vin Diesel on the machine. Oh, it's only 25%. Damn! How big is the solar charger? It's a lot of material. Alright, so we're hunting for trash. Cans. Trash cans. It's gotta be one in here, right? Yep. Oh, what did that say? On a closer inspection... Oh, shiny! <laughs> that looks shiny. Pretty sure it's mostly like rubber, but... No. It's not even an item, right? No. Okay, was there anything down here? So I actually need two... Oh, never mind. Make that one more. Let's see. Can I use this yet? Appears to be deactivated. Okay, so I think it's going to become activated if I can use it. Because right now I can't even use it. Alright, any more? None here. Okay, I need one more. 75%. Oh, here we go. Contains a list of holiday destinations. Hey, you can get to Jovia 9 for a little under 2 million credits. Maybe if we get out of here, you can take a trip there and activate me. Maybe Ava is still around. Man, I really would like to see her again. There we go. All required raw materials are ready. Press start to construct the item. Wow, the machine produced a solar panel. Neat. I took the liberty of taking it for you. A solar panel with wires that can be used to recharge the suit's battery. Unfortunately, this one is empty. Alright, let's try it, I suppose, right here. Yep, solar panel, alright. 
Use solar panel. It worked! I've drawn enough power to charge the suit. We can go home. Just give me the word and we are out of here. Hmm. I feel like I'm not done yet, though. Hold on. There's still some locked doors. Hmm, actually I can't use that. Can't use that either. Hmm, maybe that's it. I guess this keypad is never going to be activated. I mean, I suppose there's nothing actually... Yeah, there's nothing actually in there, is there? Other than the fabrication machines, but I already used the fabrication machines out there. Hmm. Well, let's take another look at the sunset. Before we leave this place. I'm sure that glass is shielded. You'd be cooked otherwise. Then what would I do? Ah, beautiful. Okay, what do I type? Charge suit, or did it already charge? Here we go. Alright, now let me see. Cut video feed. Check. No! Power? Check. Manifold consistency? Check. Quantum buffer initiated? Check. Well, that's it. We're on our way home. Now we just have to sit back and relax. Warning, quantum anomaly detected. Uh-oh, I can't abort. Buckle up. This will be interesting. <laughs> I like that end. It's cute. Alright, that was really cool. Yeah, I'm incredibly impressed with it. I mean, it looks damn good. And, like, I think the main point of it, as it says there at the end, uh, I put this together to see if there's any interest in a game of this type. Any feedback or bad is greatly appreciated. So yeah, I think the main point of it was kind of like a prototype to see how... Um, how well the gameplay worked when you combine this sort of modern 3D uh, movement with old, like kind of old style text parsing. And, well, it seems it works damn good. Yeah, I think the gameplay worked really well. I mean, I have very little experience with text parsing. And the only experience I do have is actually very, very negative. I kind of loathe it. But... I actually really enjoyed it here. I think it worked really well with the format. It felt good. You know, I find text parsing, in my experience, has been very frustrating to do, uh, to make it do what I want it to do. Like, it just feels overly cumbersome. But I think the fact that I can move around freely and look around freely kind of frees me up enough to feel comfortable and not feel too kind of kept in place and kind of too, uh, too limited by the text parsing. Because the moving around is, of course, very fast and very fluid and responsive. So I think it's... I think it's a really good mix of quick and easy kind of movement, so quick and easy sort of interaction, and then this kind of slower-paced interaction where you're typing out what you want to do. So I'm actually impressed with how well it worked. That was a very cool game. So, once again, that has been 3D Text Adventure. It is completely free. I'll have a link in the description to where you can play it for yourself. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.